These are randomly generated NHL players. I will be choosing 20 players to build a team on NHL 24. However, I will only be able to see how many goals they've scored. After all the selections are made, we will assemble the team on NHL 24 and simulate through franchise mode with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. This could be very deceiving. It's not always going to be the player with the most goals that's the best. There is the chance that they just played way more games. Our first set of random players and we get one that is clearly way ahead of the rest. But again, should I go for them? Yeah, I'm not going to deviate just yet. Let's go with the left player. 351 goals. Deviating would not have been a bad idea. We could have had a Clayton Keller. We also could have had an Eric Sinek, but instead we get Tyler Sagan, which again, yeah, he has just played a lot more games. Still solid though. I'm not upset about it. 18 goals. Wow. All right. We are not going with them. Give me the 111, just because it's three ones. All right, so far it's not working out in my favor. Are you kidding me? We don't get David Pasternak, but we get Pavel Zaka. That is heartbreaking. Next set of players, 90. Oh, we have a lot of low ones here. We've gone left, we've gone right. It's time to split the D and go down the middle. Connor McDavid's jersey number, 97. I'm gonna go ahead and call that one a good miss. We get Marty the one-man party. We could have had J-Rob, which would have been sick. To be fair, any of these players would have been solid. Let's keep her going here. Ooh, another set of low goal-scoring players. I'm gonna go back to our roots off to the left there. 103. Who are ya? Can't lie to you, would not have guessed that this guy has scored 103 goals, but we get Barbashev missing out on Mikhaev and Norris. 52, si give me somebody insane here. What is happening? How do we get three players that are all sub 100 goals? I have to keep blowing my nose here. It's like my allergies decided just to come back this morning. For now, I'm gonna keep the pattern going. Far right, 38 goals. And it just so happens to be a player that was already here before. Mason McTavish, he's a great power forward to add to this team. I'm down. 265, there we go, it's about time. Nope, we're not sticking to the pattern. 21, get out of here. We're going to 65. Oh, and we're happy with that one. We are gonna like it. We get Artemi Panarin. That is elite. Again, the two other players here are solid, but Panarin is definitely the highest overall. 149, and then two players with not a lot of goals again. This is crazy. For whatever reason, my instinct is telling me to go with 64, so we're gonna do it. Nintendo 64, don't do me dirty. What a round that was. We get Ross Colton. Could have had neighbors, could have had Bjugstad. Not really upset with my pick. We have added Ross the Sauce Boss to the team. This is easy. We don't even need to deliberate. 341, give me. Not necessarily a superstar, but a very good player in Matt Duchesne. I believe he's a centerman as well, so that could work. Welcome to the team, Matt. Let's roll some big numbers here or not. What is going on right now? This is absolutely crazy. I don't know. We're going for 55. This is now the third time that Mason McTavish has shown up. But we get Matthew Joseph. That's cool. Nine forwards down, three to go. We finally get a player with over 100. I shouldn't say finally. Like, it hasn't been too many. But you know what I mean. And then we get two players that are inversed. 57 and 75. Going 108. You absolutely love to see it. We get Nick Suzuki missing out on Amadio in the middle and then Paul on the right. Nice shot, Paul. 24 goals. Wow. We get 320, which is kind of a no-brainer, I would say. Are you kidding me? I hope that was at least decent. But we get the man, the myth, the legend, Nikita Kucherov. You kidding me? This team is absolutely disgusting. And we have one forward left to pick. Let's go with 29. Okay, we could have had Tage Thompson, but we get a Cole Perfetti. I'm still chilling with that. We are officially moving on to defensemen, and that is a little bit of what I expected. Defensemen don't score as much because they're doing just that, defending. There are offensive defensemen, but for right now, we're going with the player on the right. Can't lie to you right now, that's kind of fire. We get a Brett Pesci as our first defender. It may seem like we have a Stanley Cup team on our hands, but I assure you that is not the case. NHL 24 loves to have us put out in the first round. It's their favorite thing, favorite pastime. We're going back to the right side, 23 goals, and we will acquire an Adam Boakfist. Missed out on Gudis, he could have been good. Tough guy for us, Drysdale. 
Great young player. So is Boakvist, though. What are we looking at next here? A defenseman with 115 goals. We can't not go with them. Me personally, I'm going to go as far as to say we dodged a bullet on that one. Aaron Ekblad is a member of this elite squadron, but we missed out on those two. 12 goals. That's quite a bit. More than I'll ever have. I'm going to risk it. We're going for the 12. Why did I risk it? Why'd I do it? Somebody tell me, please. Norrissey could have been so sick. Would have secured the cup, hands down. Pavel would have been great. We get Baron. No goals. Not a single goal. And then we have 17 and 4. Let's go with 17, I guess. That's solid. We get Oliver Shillington. I absolutely butchered his name the first time I ever saw it. But now I know it. At least I hope. For our final defenseman, we get 48, 73, and 4. So it's definitely between the two cards on the left. So of course, this time, the player that had 48 goals was a higher overall, Ryan Pulock. We get Jacob Truba in the middle. That's still good. He's like 85, got an ability or two. And now we must pick two goaltenders to backstop this team. I would be dumb. If I didn't go for the 2 fitting. Yeah, I guess if you play a lot of games, you're going to get a decent number of wins. So we have James Reimer. He could be like anywhere from 82 to 84 overall, I think. If you're wondering why it's wins, that's just because it's the stat that lines up with goals. So when you see the full card, it's like games played, wins, save percentage, goals against average. Or maybe those two are inverted. I don't know. But basically... That column of the card is aligned with goals, so I'm just going with it. Let's go for 135. Just be like 85 overall, at least. Let me tell you something. They are way better than 85 overall. One of the best goalies in the game right now, Igor Shosturkin. That's insane. What an electric way to end this team. We could have had Pasta. We could have had Morrissey, but you know what? Those were misses. We have some great players here. Let's assemble the team on NHL 24 and try to win a cup. Here we are on NHL 24, and the Tusks are 95 overall, extremely solid. Our last team was also 95 overall, and we didn't win the cup, so let's see if we can turn that around here. Why, hello there, old friend. No, Jabroni, you won't be touching my lines. I feel like the chemistry on this team is going to be amazing. The first line is a plus five. Second line, we got a plus two, and then we got two zeros, but the overalls are very good for depth players. One slight area of concern for me is that this is the only sniper we have on the team. Cole Perfetti. Oh dear, that's not good. A dash three on the last pair. We might have to do something about that. I don't want to, but it helps the chemistry, so Pesci is going to be on the third pair, and if things are going bad, then we'll move them. In net, we have Igor Shosturkin backed up by Jimbo, so I think this team is gonna make the playoffs, obviously. Kucherov gets the most points with 108. He's gonna go off. 52 wins, let's go. Off to a roaring 3-0 start. Can we beat Tampa again? We sure do, holy crap. Definitely thought I turned off injuries, but apparently I didn't, so we're gonna have to do best roster, go turn them off, and then come back. And we're gonna have to go nearly a full month without Barbashev. See what happens when we lose a player? We lose three straight. Okay, now it's just getting funny. He is back, but holy crap, do I have something to show you. Before I get to that, just a quick update. I'm gonna run the defense like this instead. Barbashev is back here on the third line. I believe we started simulating right here. Yeah, that checks out. So we lose Barbashev. Loss, loss. Then we win. Loss, 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 loss. How does that happen? How does that happen, NHL 24? Explain that to me. How a 95 overall team loses one 84 overall player and falls apart. And then in the Stanley Cup Finals, there's going to be a team with no gold X factors. 87 overall is their best player. All right, I'm done. Sorry, I just had to get that out. Back-to-back -back losses to the Vancouver Canucks. And the Boston Bruins have fired their head coach. See you later, Trey. We are looking... Like, we have a great shot at the President's Trophy here, which, I mean, we should. I don't know if I actually want it or not. Actually, yes, I do. Screw it, because we haven't been getting it, and I've been, oh, we've avoided the President's Trophy curse, but you know what? Then we don't win anyway, so we might as well just get it. We're at 44 wins right now. Let's try to win out. Come on. No, we still can't get 50, though. I think we ended up with 48. First in the division, definitely secured here with 106, but that does not mean we won the President's Trophy. There were two teams ahead of us, the Golden Knights and the Jerks, so we finished third in the league. 14 and 15, both getting finessed, but the 17 and 18 teams made it in. I also just realized there wasn't a single blockbuster trade. 
That's weird. If we lose this series, I am going to lose my mind. That first line did go off. We get 105 for Panarin, 103 for Nikita Kucherov. Somehow Nate just put up 76 points. He was a minus nine though. That's weird. Also, Suzuki only had 73, which is slightly concerning. Both of our netminders did very well. Three shutouts to two. And a 38 and 18 record, 10 and 7. Both had five overtime losses. We got virtually no offense from our defense, which I know sounds weird, but you can have defense that put up points, believe it or not. Both Andre and Stewie Decimal System have 39 wins. Skinner has the slightly better save percentage and goals against average. Igor's right here for us with 38 wins, and Jari also had 38. They had the same save percentage, but our goals against average was better. Speaking of getting offense from your defense, how about Adam Fox 95 points, Kale McCarr 84, and then Darlene 76. A trio of 71s. The Art Ross is secured by Panarin. 105 points, and then Kucherov is number two in the league. So yeah, that first line did bits. Jesper Bratt went off. 99 points. Nate Mack 101. It looks like he could have the Rocket Richard here. He does. I'm pretty sure we didn't take any players from St. Louis. We could have had neighbors, but we just missed out on them. I don't think they really changed much. They have Zach, who is 66 overall on their final pair, and somehow they still made it. This guy's about to look all kinds of nervous. First three games, everybody knows the rules. Let's see how it goes for us. Nice. Beautiful. Bring the brooms out. Just do it. Get it over with. Love that. Oh dear. Next up is the Tampa Bay Lightning. This one could be tough. We did take Kucherov from their team, which is going to be a massive blow. Duclair on the first line with Point and Stamkos, though, is still very good. They still got these two back here, Sergachev and Victor Hedman. I mean, Sergachev's not on this team anymore. I should probably just start doing the updates manually because I don't think they're going to release a roster update at this point. And Vazzy. We can take them. First three games. Let's see where that gets us. We start off with a dub. We take an L, but we get another dub. So we are currently in the lead. Best of three. Take the advantage. Beautiful. Will they push a seven or not? Nah? They do. Real time. Sim time. Here we go. Tusks. A power play goal for Nick Suzuki. Natchez gets one right after that. That's huge. All right, Panarin gets a buzzer beater. It's 3-1 after one. I like where we're sitting. This morning is just one of those mornings again where I can't English, so I have to edit this together somehow to make it seem moderately competent. Still 3-1 after two. Things are looking real good, but Tampa Bay could definitely score a few real quick here. That's the start of it. We got to play good defensively. Nice. Ross Colton. Some depth goal scoring is going to reestablish that two goal lead. We have a peeper. Can't score, but I don't think it matters. We are moving on to the conference final. The Washington Capitals. Really? What are my boys doing here? I don't think we deserve to be here. Sandine and Carlson. Marty the one man party and Bear. Not bad. Semyon Varlamov. He started his career out as a capital, and now he could be ending with them. First three games, you know the rules by now. Come on, boys, let's take them down. That's a good start still. Will they make it a best of three? No. I think we're off to the finals. We are. That first line is terrifying, I can't lie to you. Nate Mack, Miko Rantanen, and Gabriel Landeskog, their second line's good. Defensively, they are very solid. And they also got two good goaltenders, so this is gonna be a series. First three games, Stanley Cup Final Edition. That's a good start. I mean, that wasn't a good start, but we redeemed ourselves. Make it a 3-1 series, you won't do it. Well, I was right. The ultimate prize comes down to a best of three, and we take the lead. It is once again real time, sim time. Jonathan Drouin breaks the ice here in this game, giving Colorado a 1 0 lead. We were out shooting them pretty heavily, but they kind of brought it back here. Still 1 0, and we give them a peeper, but we kill it off and score right after. Are we gonna have a tie game going into the third period? Yes, we are. No way, Kale McCarr scores and then Tave scores right after. We're going to seven, aren't we? They get an empty netter just to put the icing on the cake. You know what? I've got a crazy one for you guys. I'm doing it. One game to rule them all is what it comes down to. Come on, Tusks. Amazing. First shot of the game. Pavel Zaka gives a- 
Why was he out there so early? Kale McCarr ties it up at one though. They're not gonna go down without a fight. Casey Middlestack gives Colorado the lead. No! What are we doing? Lads, come on. Score some goals here. You know? We have probably the best first line in the NHL right now. Or... The Colorado one probably competes, but... It all comes down to this third period. We are still trailing by one goal. We're out shooting them, but that doesn't matter. All that matters is that Matt Duchesne gets us back tied with this Colorado team. Can we? My voice is quitting on me and I don't care. We're going to make it work. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in. I have to. Let's not even let this get to OT. You know? Who says no? Just score right now. Right away. No, don't let them score. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was way too close for comfort. Why is the Zaka line out there again? What's going on here? Nick Suzuki tries to thread the needle. He finds Duchesne. Nice shot on net, but that is gonna be saved. Go. We still have it. Back to the point. No! 40 seconds and they just coughed it up. Go! Go, Matthew! What a save. Nate Mack wins the draw back to Kale. He's gonna carry it and makes a very risky pa no. Oh no. This is insane. Like this is anybody's. We both had great chances. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Oh my word. That's like what, 20 seconds left? Aaron Ekblad could be the hero here. What an absolute legend. I think it was just through a screen. The goaltender couldn't really see it. Or no, that was just a perfect shot actually. Is perfect any good? 20 seconds, just run the clock out. That's all you have to do. You don't even need to score anymore. That was terrifying. I really did think they were gonna tie it up. Goalie pulled, and that is going to seal the deal. The Newfoundland Tusks are your Stanley Cup champions. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of hardware coming our way, which I mean, there should be. We were a 95 overall team absolutely gross there it is they've done it they've actually gone and done it i personally didn't think we were gonna win because this game continues to crush me obviously you can't win them all i don't expect to but that's like only the second one this entire game, I think. NHL 24 has not treated me nicely when it comes to fantasy drafts. We get the Conn Smythe here, Nikita Kucherov. Are you kidding me? What an absolute stud. And now the ultimate prize. He went to get the Conn Smythe and now he's coming to get the Stanley Cup. What a thing of beauty. That is unexpected, but totally freaking awesome. Let's go, Cooch. I feel like I do get him in a lot of videos, though, for some reason. That just clicked right now. Who are you going to pass it to? Who are you gonna... It's got to go to Ekblad. He got the game-winning goal. No? We're going to Panarin? All right. Give it to the bread man. Boop. And the handoff is complete. All right. There we have it. Stanley Cup champions. It would be the Toronto Marlies winning the Calder Cup. Didn't they win it the last time we won a Stanley Cup too? Cooch did amazing. 35 points. We got 30 from the Breadman. 26 from Suzuki. Natchez continued to do well. Reimer did have to come in at some point and he kind of got lit up. But all things considered, Igor Shosturkin played phenomenal. Aaron Ekblad had 10 points, but he had the one most important point. And that was the Stanley Cup clinching goal. Pavel had the exact same save percentage, a slightly better GAA. Defensive points wasn't even close. Kale McCarr had 28, and then the next closest was 18. But to be fair, Hedman did it in 12 games. Conn Smythe was definitely deserved. We had the first and second spot, and then Colorado had the third and fourth. Ovechkin was truly carrying the capital. 16 goals in 17 games. That's absurd. Art Heart combo intact and going to Panarin. Fox scoops up the Norris. Panarin with another one, the Lady Bing. Bedsy does get the Calder this time. Consmythe goes to Kucherov. The Vesna goes to Otter, whereas the Jennings goes to Capo, really. And Jake Allen. Can't leave him out. I see you down there. Pareko is awarded the Bill Masterton. Bonvai gets the Jack Adams. 
I agree. Copistar is presented the Selkie, and then Panarin gonna get one more for the trophy case, and Nate Mack gets the Rocket Richard. Here's your playoff tree. It feels good to be champions, baby. If you guys could take the time to leave a like and subscribe, that would be absolutely fire. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have other draft ideas, go ahead, let me know below. Let me know how many goals your favorite player has. On that note, I'll see you soon.